Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so, in this video, we're going to be talking about our systems over in the Atlantic, which are in Fest 91L, uh, Larry, which is still a major hurricane, as well as a new disturbance expected to emerge off Africa. And then, over in the Eastern Pacific, we have Tropical Depression 15, which is expected to eventually become Tropical Storm Olaf. And of course, we have a Tropical Storm Watch that is in place. And so, before I go into details, All right, so let's kickstart things with Tropical Depression 15. So looking at the satellite imagery of the system here, we're seeing that it is not very organized and we do have some of that shower and thunderstorm activity affecting some portions along the southwestern coast of Mexico. So fortunately, the disturbance is going to be making its way parallel to the coast and not moving inland, but we do have a tropical storm watch that is in place. So let's go to the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center. And so we're seeing here that the depression has winds of 35 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the north northwest at a slow 5 miles per hour and so what you're seeing in yellow is a tropical storm watch that is in effect for the Baja California Sur, Mexico from Los Barriles to Santa Fe. So those areas can expect tropical storm-like conditions within about 36 hours, which includes some very heavy rainfall and even some gusty winds and some storm surge as well. And it is possible that we could have this disturbance here potentially achieving hurricane status briefly once it is going to be just uh, off the coast of the Baja California Peninsula. So if you're in the Bay California, sir, you really want to keep an eye on this and ensure that you have preparations in place, ensure that you're not in a flood prone area because this system here could result in some very serious impacts. And so now let's go over into the Atlantic Basin. And so we're seeing here that we have three systems. We have Invest 91L, Major Hurricane Larry, and that newly highlighted spot just off Africa. So let's talk about them individually. So first up is that new disturbance. And so as you're seeing, uh, this disturbance here is given a 20% chance of development through the next five days. So we're not actually seeing the X and that means that uh, that low pressure area has not yet developed. But once it does, it is going to be in that shaded region more than likely the moment it makes its way off the coast of Africa. And that is where we could have some development taking place. And so if you're from the Cabo Verde Islands, you want to be on the lookout because it is possible that this thing here could even rapidly develop as long as conditions are going to be favorable. And as I speak about favorable conditions, the 10th which is Friday marks the peak of the hurricane season and so even though we're not seeing a whole lot of activity right now there could be a whole lot to come maybe late in the month or even next month in October and so now let's go on to our next disturbance which is invest 91l which has been around for quite some time and the formation chance was stagnant at 30 percent for a while and now here we have it increasing so there is a 50 50 chance that this thing here could develop into a tropical cyclone just before it makes its way over the southeastern u.s and so regardless of it developing though it is going to be bringing some dangerous conditions to portions of the southeastern u.s especially the florida panhandle so expect some very heavy rainfall that could trigger some localized flooding in some sections so if you're in florida or i would say about georgia and even the carolinas you want to keep an eye on this disturbance here because there is a chance that you could feel some major impacts as this is going to be making its way by so even though it might not develop into a tropical cyclone just before making its way inland it is still going to be bringing some dangerous conditions but once it moves back over into the warm ocean waters of the atlantic it is going to be having another chance to get in shape and develop if it doesn't do so in the gulf of mexico and so looking at the satellite imagery of it we're seeing here that it is not organized at all we have that uh, widespread show and thunderstorm activity taking place and it was actually getting in shape yesterday but today is not looking so great it being not organized is just going to mean that there's going to be more widespread rainfall so the rainfall could even spread to other states such as alabama and so now let's go on to hurricane larry so looking at the satellite imagery of larry we're seeing here that it is not looking so good at all and uh, it is actually weakening right now as it accelerates to the northwest and so as of right now it is still a major hurricane with winds of 115 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northwest at 
10 miles per hour and as of right now there is a tropical storm watch in effect for bermuda which means that tropical storm like conditions are likely within about 36 hours or so and along with that uh the swells that are generated by larry are still going to be affecting portions of the western atlantic and that can result in some life-threatening rip currents so again you want to avoid going to the beach especially if you're along the east coast of the u.s and so larry is expected to remain a hurricane through the rest of this week and by early next week it is expected to become post-tropical as it's going to be making its way close to the southern tip of greenland and so guys now let's take a look at what two of the models are showing in terms of the new disturbance which i showed you the one highlighted in yellow expected to merge off africa so let's look at the gfs and the euro model runs and so this is a map showing the isobars and the isobars are lines of equal pressure and the closer you see them in a circular manner with a pressure below 10 13 millibars that is a low pressure system and can be our tropical cyclones and especially when you see that the isobars have a very steep gradient that is when you have a stronger tropical cyclone and so looking at this map right here this is by monday the 13th of september so next monday uh, we have the gfs model showing a 10 13 millibar low pressure system that is just to the west southwest of the cabo verde islands right there and, and as we go further out to friday the 17th uh, which is really the end of that week we see that nothing much becomes of that wave and then going to euro however you're showing something very different so this is by sunday the 12th of september and you're showing that just as the system makes its way off the coast of africa we're going to be having it developing so this is more than likely a tropical storm at that at that point that the euro is showing and euro is showing it accelerating up to the north but by the 18th of september it is showing another system making its way off the coast of africa and ahead of it is probably a weak tropical wave that you're seeing right there just about east of the lesser antilles and so guys we have to wait and see what's going to be happening with that system but let's hope that things don't get too crazy out there and so again we have tropical depression 15 expected to become olaf that is a threat to portions of the bar california California Peninsula and we have major hurricane Larry that is going to be affecting Bermuda and we have invest 91L which is going to be bringing some dangerous conditions to portions of the southeastern US so if you're in states such as Florida and even Georgia you want to keep an eye on that system and ensure that you're not in a flood prone location because that is likely going to be the major impact which is the rainfall from the system and then we have our new disturbance expected to emerge off Africa that has a chance to develop and so guys that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and i will keep you updated as time goes by